651. Our countdown to sequestration continues this morning, and as we mentioned earlier, three local congressmen, three local Republican congressmen will be getting the word out about their plans at, at a hearing uh, that's open to the public. Congressman Randy Forbes, Rob Whitman, and Scott Ridgell will join the Navy, Navy League of Hampton Roads to discuss the potentially devastating impact of sequestration. Ahead of that meeting, Congressman Scott Ridgell is joining us live from his office in Virginia Beach. Good morning, Congressman. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Don. Now, Congressman, first of all, we have some viewers on Facebook who had some questions they wanted us to ask you. The question that we have from Nathan Woodington is a two-parter. He says, what do you see as the biggest hurdle that is stopping an agreement from being reached on the budget, and do you have any ideas to overcome that obstacle? Well, uh, I think the biggest uh, obstacle we have here are, are folks putting uh, what's best for the party ab above what's best for our country. I'm determined not to do that, and um, we've advanced two bills, actually passed two bills in the House of Representatives that would stop sequ uh, sequestration. Uh, the same is not true of the Senate, and I'm hopeful that they'll pass a bill this week that they will, and uh, then we'll have something to look at. But until now, we haven't had anything definitive to actually compare to our plan and, and something to consider. And I hope the president will uh, really lead now and put a definitive plan out of his own as well. That's what's needed. Congressman Ridgell, well, interesting note about the meeting coming up this morning with the Navy League and Congressman Whitman and Congressman Forbes and yourself. Was Congressman Scott invited to that? Oh, he certainly was. And his schedule didn't permit him to join us this morning. Uh, Congressman Scott is a, a good friend and a good colleague, and we work very well together. And uh, we certainly do have, I think, uh, different views on how to you know, best navigate through this. But uh, we work together as a delegation, and, and I, I take it at face value. He had a scheduling conflict, and I believe that to be true. Congressman Ridgell, what do you have to say to the people of Hampton Roads who are feeling a bit on edge this week as this deadline approaches, not only because of the defense cuts, but because of what this could mean for jobs across the area and different aspects of their lives? Well, they're your friends and neighbors, Katie, they're mine, uh, uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, hardworking folks, men and women, children who would be affected by this. It has my full attention. It has for well over a year. That's you know, defending our defenders tour that uh, Congressman Forbes led and I was part of, it began uh, you know, about a year ago. We've been on this, uh, even this late hour, it, it can be averted. Uh, the likelihood, of course, is uh, decreasing with every day that goes by. But I, I, I wake up thinking about this, work all day on it, and it has my full attention. And I'm not going to give up. Uh, we're going to keep fighting. Well, we are hopeful that that fight will result in uh, a means to end the sequester that is due to hit coming the, start, the beginning of March. Congressman Scott Ritchie of the 2nd District, thank you very much for talking with us this morning. And we apologize for the technical difficulties. Thank you.